Zs lying for the money Going all like Doing staging, paparazzi chasing Scamming, selling the garbage that you're telling We don't care You're only winning it in your dreams Doing all like Victim branding, petty and demanding Phony trifles, peddling your titles We don't care Heard enough whining from the spare oh, You'll never be royals Dignity isn't in your blood The kind of Sussex ain't for us You're ruining everything be the rulers of so much as a Burger King, baby, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. could see that you're no majesty. Oh, there we are. Apologies. I'm starting over. Hey, welcome. To <laughs> there it is again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Popcorn Palace. I had my mute button on. Uh, you are in for a doozy of a show. It started one direction and now it's heading to another direction. Uh, this is going to get interesting, to say the least. We are here to talk about this interview with Carl Larson, who is in the chat and is going to be joining us right now. In fact, I'm adding him to the show Carl Larson is here live, guys. Carl, are you there, sir? Yes, I am. Hello. Good to meet you. Officially face-to-face. -face. How are you doing? Good, good, good. How are you? Uh, frustrated, man, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh, oh okay. Frustrated because I, I was watching this clip of this interview with you, and uh -huh. I, I don't like what you're putting out there because it's just not true. Yes, I am. Uh, Hello. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, well, I got to mute I'm your sorry. YouTube for Did one. Did your YouTube? Mute your YouTube for me so we can yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, um, I apologize. I, yeah. I was trying to, you know, be insane. Yeah, I'm, but, I was saying I'm just, I'm a little frustrated that you're trying to put things out there that I was DMing boozy and trying to get oh, you kicked off. No. That's all lies. Well, I was trying to get you, you were trying to put an end to my tour. And, you B know, uh, bullshit. I didn't know you were bullshit. doing the show. I didn't know you were doing your tour. I, I had no idea that you were doing that tour. That tour was a bad idea, obviously, because of South Park had, you know, really nothing to do with, you know, my tour and, you know, we should have worked together. You're right. We should have worked together. Um, I, I don't want anything to do with your tour or work together. Let's clarify <laughs> and clear the air and everything, because now that you're here, you can, we can talk about it. You went on this tour on this interview with uh, GB news with Samantha. I heard Samantha wants to join. Are you cool if she wants to join? Yes. Um, oh, Samantha is going to join. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. Because uh, I see, I think she's here. I think it's going to be audio only. Samantha is joining the chat. Oh my gosh, guys. I told you this would be a doozy. Samantha Markle, are you on the phone? Hello? Can you hear us? She's got to unmute her camera. Let's get her I'm audio gonna unmute in. unmute her audio. We're going to unmute Samantha. Oh my gosh. Exclusive. Exclusive. Steph, I'm a regular Dan Wooten now. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha, are you there? Hold on, we're gonna get Samantha to figure out. Uh, she has. It's fine. Take your time. Uh, uh, Paula's helping us get that. She so, has to turn her mic on. Uh, as we wait for that, wanna... let's let's go back to Carl. Let's get this sorted out. Because I'm I'm frustrated because I watched this interview with uh, on Dan's show, and you make this illusion that I was trying to shut your no, tour I... down. For the record, yeah, actually, I didn't I DM even... Christopher Boozy. Do you, this Christopher Boozy blocks me. He blocks all of his attractors. I messaged you and warned you I... that Boozy would I'm probably not... shut you down. And then I did this tweet. I tweeted at him along with Newsweek's Jack Royston, uh, right. joking on the irony of like, how, wh where's the, where's the outrage now? Ha ha ha! I just would right. like to point out for the record, this was at eleven thirty nine a.m. Okay. Christopher Boozy, he did this at nine thirty in the morning. Hold on, I'm gonna go. He blocks me, as you can see. I'm blocked by him. I gotta go to a, another account so I can show you the proof. Okay. Uh, Christopher Boozy did this at nine thirty in the morning. You can see right there. He was already tra going after tripping and everybody before I said anything, brother. So this okay, implication well, that I'm working with Boozy is offensive. I, it's defamatory. I want nothing to do with any of you guys, especially Mr. Boozy. So I just want, yeah. it, can you clarify the record now? Okay, well, I don't follow Christopher Boozy. 
All I know is that you guys had a, a banter back and forth. I'm trying to nope. get the royal False. celebrity False. tour. Uh, False. Well, yeah. There's no banter. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm not going to let you say lies here. There was no banter back and forth. I've never spoken to Boozy in my life, nor would I ever want to. There was a tag on Twitter, which okay, he can't read because he blocks out me. The banter. You just pointed he it out. He can't read right this. Now. He can't read this. He blocks me. Oh, but I don't know all that. It, it, but there's it no, do matter. you see a response from him? Where's the ban a banter requires people to engage back and forth. Would you agree on that definition he, of banter? Whatever. If it's one way and then another way back, I mean, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But let's listen. It let's does matter forward. to me. It absolutely listen. matters to me. Do you like if, Christopher Boozy? Because I don't. I don't want to be associated with that guy. No, I, I don't. Do I don't you? Know are him. you? Are, are you? Do you work with Christopher Boozy? I don't work with him. No. Do you and work with Meghan Markle? I, I, <laughs> no. How did you get on the listen. Newsweek article? Because while I have you here, I found it really weird that they published this negative piece on you about how you were doing this tour. And then literally hours later, oh, looks Carl gives us advice about Thomas's stroke on the same day. Listen. Did you tip off Jack Royston? Listen, what we're going to do, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Royal Celebrity Tour on Instagram. Whoa, whoa, so whoa, whoa, whoa. You're you just here to plug your thing? No, 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 no. Eh, yeah. If you're not going to answer yeah. questions, you can leave. But I'm curious and confused since you're here and we're we're, we're, yes. we're airing it. Someone, you gave? Did you give Jack Royston this lead that you were that his father that Meghan Markle's father yeah, was recovering called, from a stroke? Right. You did give him this lead. Well, oh, they talked about the tour. They asked me about the tour. Which the? Sorry, I'm talking about while Newsweek published that you were doing this ridiculous tour that we were never doing. You the same day. The same mm -hmm. author that was that you sparked outrage. Here it is, Jack Royston on August 22nd, 4 30, 53 in the morning. Okay. Literally later that day, Jack conveniently writes a positive story about you tipping off Newsweek on how Megan's father is still recovering from the stroke. How did Jack get yeah. that information, he is, Carl? Because I'm his best friend, as you oh, know. Oh, so you so you are still saying you're his best friend? Uh yes. Samantha, Even I think your audio Samantha is in Marco now. Is Carl last Sa night on GB News that you've not really spoken to him in like four years? Yeah, in fact, Samantha, are you there? Uh, like that now. You, you have to listen to what she says. Samantha, are you there? Can we hear your audio? This would be perfect timing. Yeah, yeah can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Samantha yes. Markle live on the show. Such an honor to have you, Samantha. Thank you for being here. Carl just reaffirmed that he is your father's best friend. Can you clarify that? Okay, I'm going to say this very clearly. First of all, I think we need a distinction here between the word friend and predator. Exactly. Okay, my father was kind enough to trust him in the beginning, but, you know, some stuff started happening that wasn't too cool. Um, he got a little bit pushy and I feel took advantage of my dad. And, you know, let me ask you all what you think about this, because a real friend of my father told us in no uncertain terms and told my father that when my father went off to the hospital when he had his stroke, Carl tried to get into his house, probably to rummage around through his things. Now, what kind of friend does something like that when someone's having a stroke? And secondly, how is it that he knew my dad was having a stroke? Was he lurking in the bushes like paparazzi do? So don't tell me that he's a friend of my father's. And I spoke with my father and my brother uh, several times over the last couple of days about this. Excuse my French, but that is total bullshit to suggest that he's a friend of my father. He's not a friend of my father. He's not a friend of our family. And he is not a go-between between, between Megan's camp and our family, if anything, He's trying to enmesh himself and get an angle in any way he can for his own personal gain. So I would say that is predatorial. I would not say that is a friend. You wouldn't call it a remarkable right. friendship, Samantha? Uh, exactly. Remarkable, remarkable or heinous. Mm, yeah. I think heinous you know, friendship could have been a better title for their YouTube channel. So, yeah. Carl, why do you... Why do you keep going against Samantha? I trust. No offense well, to you. I trust her a lot more about her father. Why do you keep insisting you're best friends? We are best friends. You just you just heard her say that she didn't deny what you just said. So oh, if you, oh no oh no you Samantha stop. if it, you know if you didn't write if you didn't write that book you could have been invited to the wedding. Oh, no. You know that. So 
don't try and change the subject, Carl. Okay. I will stop right I spoke to my dad last night. You're full of shit. You're not my father's best friend. So shut up. Okay, your so tell me who the father your father's best friend is. Oh my god, she doesn't have to give you that? What are you who are you? So I'm not she doesn't owe that, that to you? Yeah, you putz. I'm denying it. You're not my father's best friend. You're not a friend at all. You're a fucking predator. Now step off. You see now I, what? All stay away from your dad or you're gonna get a cease and desist. He said last night you're not his friend. He trusted you long enough to find out that you are you were using him. You're not a friend. Who tries to get into someone's house when they're going to the hospital while they're having a stroke? You weren't by his side trying to be his friend while he was on the way to the hospital. You were trying to get into his house. Shut I was trying to get it. That's that's defamatory. I was never trying oh, to get into his defamatory. house. Armando is a good friend of his. Armando told us everything. Yeah, you were. Armando said you tried to get into the house after he left. So don't. That's not true. Armando's the one. No, you know what? We trust Armando. And well, how is it you were near his house at all unless you were lurking in the bushes? I'd love to know. No, Armando's the person that told me your dad went to the hospital. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Save it, save it, save it. You're, no, that's not true. So you're not my father's best friend. That is a lie. You know, if I could, I'd get my father. Okay, on so phone. just tell me who your there's, father's best friend is. No, she doesn't need to do that. <laughs> Samantha, sorry to interrupt, but that's not her Carl, responsibility. Carl, it's none of yeah. your God's business. You're not a friend of my father's. He even told me that yesterday. Go away. Okay. Sure. sure. So will you respect that, Carl? So, that's really the, I, the no. truth here. Will you take that and stop? That's not true. And no, then had, you're a I, you're had, a some, had, no, had you're Samantha a just made up with Carl. Megan, everybody you're got a, invited, got a, invited a to the wedding. You're a drunk lover who doesn't want to get off somebody's front lawn. But wait, that's what paparazzi do, right? So that's your MO. Go away, Carl. You're not my father's friend at all. Carl, I mean, I don't want to keep now? piling on, but this is very stalkerish. This is very strange. Thomas has been quoted in the papers. Her, her, his, her, his daughter is here telling you to stop. I've engaged. You shared his text to me. I don't know if Thomas right. gave you permission to do that. That's slimy, father, man. And I don't want to keep yeah. piling on. But can you? My, I want to. I want to end this. Can you leave them right. alone? So my you're going to go on the celebrity tour or not? No, no, the no, Royal Carl, Celebrity Tour. Dot com. Carl, you're in denial, <laughs> and I think you need counseling. My father just did an interview with the Daily Mail the other day, making it clear that you're not his friend. So for you to say you are, are you eating chocolate mushrooms like other people in California are? Really, stop. Listen, all I've done is help you and your family and, and your dad. No, no, no lie, and lie, lie. You've while I was helping your dad, while I was helping your dad, you're writing a yeah. book against Megan. Carl, you're in denial. Don't try it. Be quiet. Nope, that's not true. Okay, that's not true. I'm not in denial. Get a counselor. You are really, this is bullshit. Just, now, be quiet. It's not going to work. You should leave your dad out of this, and you should okay. never have written that book. And you could. Have oh my God, Carl! Enough. We, this has nothing to do with her book. We're talking about yeah, you putting her father's about. name in the press, which he didn't ask you what, to do. What are you talking about? I didn't Carl? put his name in the press. <laughs> yes, you did. What do you mean Carl. by I put his name in the press, dude? Who, what, so this wasn't your yeah. tour. This also this wasn't your tour definition. Yeah, it's this is the literally. Royal Got, Samantha, right. I don't know if you can see it. This was literally how you described the royal celebrity tour. I am the only person in the world that knows the truth about what happened between Meghan and, and her father out of yep, their marriage. That's true. I'm the only person who has open communication. This is bullshit. Oh, no, it's not bullshit. Check your messages, please. That is true. From me right now. Thank you. Yeah, you must be smoking crack. That's absolutely ridiculous. So, Carl, you need to see some desist. Right. I put Twitter yesterday. My dad. And my brother asked me to put that out there. You stay the hell away from our family. You are not a friend. You are okay. a friend. Nothing you can say is going to change that. Thank you. So, see, if Samantha had not written that book, uh, she could have gotten invited to the uh, wedding. Uh, okay. Carl, you publicly been asked to stop several times. Carl, this were... is about you leaving the Markles alone. I'm having Samantha's back. Samantha, I love you. Thank oh. you for being here. Thank you to Paula for connecting. I was trying to get Paula in, but I, I, wait, look, Samantha, we all got your back on this. Carl, leave them alone. We've yeah. said this very clearly. Do they need to file a restraining order? Will you stop speaking about the Markles? Well, the, you know, there's freedom of speech. People can speak about people that are in the public all they want. 
But when you start insisting your family representative, then that's whoa, 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 whoa. I never said I was a representative at all of your family. You're what is, what it doesn't even make sense. That that comment doesn't even make sense. You're not, and you're not my father's best friend. Oh, that is okay. my, that's my false. Father, stay the hell away. You're not my father's best friend. He said okay. that in jail the other day. Go away. Sure. Okay, will you list respect that, Carl? Will you go away and stop messaging Thomas? Stop messaging. Look, he calls me all the time. I mean, texts me all the time. So yeah, no, I'm not going to not answer his text. No, he doesn't. That's a lie. Okay, he that's a lie. Yeah, thank right, you. I'll tell you what. I'm going to come out with a book, and I'm, and the book will have everything in it. Okay, uh, another book that? a lot of someone who's rejected would do. Uh, typical. You're in denial, so you have to deal with that with a counselor. And no. if there are legal questions, you can deal uh, with that. Stop. Carl, why are yeah. you doing this? You like, asked me to I be mean, on your I show. Mean, no, no, not this. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Let, let me clarify here. Mm -hmm. We've got Samantha Markle here literally yeah. turning around point blank without any ambiguity saying, you're not his best friend. Leave the Markle family alone. Stop okay. what you are doing. But why why are you not respecting that? Why are there a lot of excuses and a lot of what I think you would call explanations coming through? Like why when the You guys the, don't know what, you guys don't know the half of it because the media they tricked Thomas Markle into taking those original photographs. <laughs> So, oh my God! It says, Why are you changing the goalposts, Carl? Because that wasn't my well, question. We're, my we're question talking was, about the royal wrong. celebrity. Hang on a minute! No, 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 no! I've listened to you very carefully. Now you're okay. going to listen to me, so if you don't mind, thank you very sure, much. Uh, my question was very, very clear, and you are very slippery because you like to change the goalposts. You're not going to fly with me, sir. Go I ahead. have asked very clearly, why are you still continuing down this path when you have got the daughter of Thomas Markle Sr., who you purport to say is your best friend, turning round and saying, no, you're not best friends, leave <laughs> us alone, stop this right now. Why are you still continuing against that when you're hearing because it because she lives in Samantha's florida she lives in florida and he lives over here so uh, had, she well, doesn't know so you know, you know better than her than her but, than his daughter that makes exactly. no sense who cares where she lives oh, why? excuse okay. me yeah i'm his first born first born daughter i speak to him three four times a day i speak to right. tom several times a day and now right. I'm with and no, no and no, when no. i'm with your dad you're always calling <laughs> yeah so and you're always checking up on him. You're right. So you... ever, you're not ever with my dad. Shut your mouth. He dumped you a long time ago because you are predatorial. He, he dumped, dumped me. What, yeah, he dumped me four was, years ago. No, I mean, you would not take no for an answer. You wouldn't leave him alone. And he told me that. He I don't know. You now, Carl. Yes, I don't even know why we're talking about your dad. He's trying to. This is all stressing your father out. You're, you brought him up. You're all talking, stressing your, Samantha, your father out. Samantha, don't worry, Samantha. We got your back. You know we got yes. your back. You know the truth. Number one, uh, Samantha. I'm, I'm Samantha. talking about Samantha Markle and the Markle family because you're using their name. You are lying. You're. Yes. You, I saw your live on Dan Wooden yesterday, and you saying that Andy was jealous of you, and he called well, or DM. Obviously, he's Christopher jealous of me. Oh, I'm so daughter. jealous, Carl. <laughs> you are a liar. You're a weasel. You're oh, just no. like Meghan Markle. And you know what? I'm being no. a sugar right now. So, so you know how it feels because you're trying to censor and gaslight everything and misuse Samantha no. and call her a liar when she's not. She's done with people like you calling her a liar. And what? I'm well, going to back her. Carl, can I, can I just, just to add, because he didn't answer my question. Carl, who gave this information about Thomas to Newsweek that he's recovering from the stroke? He is recovering from the stroke. So you, who that. gave the who gave the text? Because you sent this text to me too. Did Thomas ask you to do that? Did Thomas text you about his stroke and tell you to give it to Newsweek magazine? It's recall. a very easy yes or no, Carl. I don't recall. Okay. Did Thomas give you permission <laughs> to talk about his stroke okay, on Newsweek? Right. This, Steph, hold on. This was the same day Newsweek was reporting about your disgusting tour. Somehow it right. seemed like it's you were working with Jack tour. to give Jack positive it's news to distract 
from your crazy news. But both pieces were kind of crazy, were they not? Did Thomas give you permission to talk about his stroke to Newsweek? I never talked about a stroke to Newsweek. We talked well, about the How score. did they get this information then, Carl? That's what I'm trying I to figure out. I have no out. idea. I have no idea. So the, when they when they source you here, when they Carl Larson, a photographer, uh -huh. uh, told Newsweek, they're lying, yeah. that Thomas' health has improved in the months since the stroke. This is a lie. You didn't tell him this? No. Because you should get I a lawyer and sue him no, if I that's did. the case. No, I did. So then why... So, I, I, you just said you yeah, I, mean, I just said that you didn't speak to Newsweek about Thomas Markle Sr.'s health. No, I just told you that I spoke to Newsweek about the tour. So in telling the tour, they said, will Thomas be part of the tour? And I said, no, Thomas has nothing to do with this tour. That's exactly what I said. I, I invited Thomas to come stay at my house during the hurricane we had here in California, but he said he's going to ride it out, Larson said. He said, after the stroke, yeah. there's nothing I'm afraid of. That's literally what he said to me. Yep, he yep. did not and get his voice back, but he didn't want to be part of the limelight right now. And as a best friend, I, I didn't want him to be in the hurricane on the side of the Pacific Ocean. His son so, was with oh, him during the hurricane. Oh, no, Thomas oh, Markle oh, Jr. No. did a video about oh, boarding the windows. Oh, you know what? Right. Uh, and you know what, Carl, just like, you know who was on the phone with my dad when he was having a stroke? He called me. I'm the one who knew he was having a stroke. When he left for the hospital, right. you were nowhere near. How did you get to Armando and try and get in the house? And let me tell you about the hurricane. Yeah. Get on the phone with dad oh. throughout the whole thing and with Tom. You didn't yeah. offer that. You, no, my dad would, would never consider staying with you. You are hallucinating. I suggest you get a mental health counselor. Oh, okay, so then, or, or you're going to get a restraining order right, because so, you are, no, you're lying about my dad. Knock it off. Stay the hell away, and that's enough. You have been. You told. keep bringing up. I don't know. You keep bringing up your dad. I don't know why. Because you keep you using that in the first place are you by falsely, uh, by falsely what? elaborating you your relationship with him. I think him. he is, Paula, and I don't want to be mean about it. But Carl, you know why? what do you mean, I why we're bringing it up? it up? You're quoting him in publications without his permission. This, these are you quotes from you. exposing your oh, lies. Wait a minute. I, I brought up my dad because Carl was just suggesting that he offered him a place to stay during the hurricane. You are delusional in oh, my opinion. Oh, oh, wait, Samantha, did you, wait, Samantha, are you, you saying, are, no, step off. Samantha, wait, you are you it. saying, Samantha, are you saying that I didn't offer a place to stay to your dad for the hurricane? Is that what you just said? If you sent him a text, he ignored you. Yeah, you have no, no, no but oh, okay. Honestly, all right, all right. Samantha, so I, why would I, why would I, I, I maybe, I, I, I don't know. Some, I would love for you to confirm, Samantha, somebody... whether Thomas did or not, because to me, even if he did, this reads as like, I've done this before when the stalker messaged me. I'm like, thanks, but no thanks is sort of what it feels like to me. No, but you're yeah. using that as sort of communication because you keep reaching out and maybe Thomas well, is just being nice because he's scared yeah. of you. Maybe that, and he then you, you, you exploit every man. text He's you get. Hold on, Paula. Yeah, hold on, Paula. Shouldn't be, Wait, he shouldn't be talking hold about on. my friend like that. What, he's not he's trying friend. to, he's he's not he's trying to relax. He's but you are taking friend. every message you get from your best friend and then giving it to Newsweek, and then yeah. you're like, oh, I didn't give it to Newsweek, and then you're caught because Newsweek's <laughs> quoting you, giving it to Newsweek. Did Thomas Markle tell you to reach out to Newsweek and talk about your stroke, his stroke? No, so, he didn't, correct? Can we admit that? No, you're asking me if I got permission from my best friend. He's not your, and, best, and not your now, best friend. And now oh you're saying God. that oh he's goodness. not. You're such a, you know what? You're such a mega Markle. You will die by the sword, no matter what. You will okay. die on your lies. This is a gentleman who's well, had listen. heart attacks, a stroke, who's recovering, and, and who's been exploited because he's hurting that his daughter is misbehaving and trashing him in public. And you're right. trying to trash Samantha, the daughter who's defending him and standing by his side, calling you out. I call you out. Right. You are, I'm sorry, but you, you know That's what? It. You should know no. when to say enough is enough. Listen. This is abuse. This is elderly abuse. You're no, stopping. I, 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 why, why, are you, why are you keeping on bringing uh, up Thomas Markle? Like, because... Carl, it's, listen, you should be bringing up said, Megan. We should you know bring, bring up Megan. No, Megan is irrelevant. Shut, Shut and, your mouth, Carl. You just said you keep criticizing everyone and challenging yeah. everyone, asking why they brought up my dad. You just said he. You just said you're his best friend. You are not right. my father's best friend. Really. Okay, I'm not. Okay, I'm not. All right.
So oh, if you want to go on the Royal Celebrity Tour, just no, follow me we're good. Instagram. Nobody here wants to do that tour. I appreciate <laughs> yeah, though the, the no, attempt no, to plug no, it. It's going to be great. No, it will be great. Good luck. And good neither luck. is Harry, but no, we're going to go. I got, no, I got news for you. Neither Harry and Meghan are royal. <laughs> well, listen, we're going to Well, I'll let you say anything, but I, I'm not going to give you a plug for your tour, tour, brother. Sorry. I don't go. support it. Don't want to support after all you've just done listen, and, and no. defamatory nonsense Andy, that I'm engaging with gonna, Boozy and that I'll, you're Thomas's I'll, best friend. I'll I'm just sick of the your, live peddling. I'll go zoom ahead. live. What? During the tour, I'm going to zoom live into this show. Oh, great. No, no, that's okay. I'm good. I'm good. But we're okay. But thank you anyway. But thanks for the offer. Okay. Carl, you, uh, I hope we've corrected the matter. I hope you will right. stop referring to him as as your best friend. Right. He's not. I wish you the well, best. Also, you... as well, stop I love saying you, Samantha. that Andy messaged Boozy to shut down your tour because that is no. absolutely categorically right. false. Steph, Even Andy I, just... hang on a minute. No, 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 no. I've listened to you. You will now listen to me again without interrupting. I even have access to all of Andy's socials and messages. Best believe I know he has not DM'd Boozy at all. Right, not, Andy pointed nothing. out that we, it was we, we, we a, no communication with Boozy. It behind wasn't the technically no, a DM. Why? Well, not right, only was it not technically a DM, Boozy, a DM. Boozy hit them right up there. before I did. It Carl, a, you, you can't. I, I'm showing you the evidence right here. Tweet. Who cares? Who cares about you that? You cared. Oh, you brought it up on, 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 on with Dan Boozy live. Down your car. You defamed me on national television. Let's not bring up Christopher Boozy. I mean. We, but we yet you, you did for some it, reason, oh, didn't you? You spouted out that defamatory statement about Andy saying that Andy messaged Boozy to shut down oh. your talk. Or that I'm, that or that I'm jealous of you, Carl. We no offense, I'm not jealous, I assure you. Listen, I don't want to start a beef with you on this show. I want to be back on your show. And besides, the That's Royal all this is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's all this is, because <laughs> Carl, hold on, Steph, let me just wrap it up. I apologize, everybody, because I don't want to keep saying this. I got to give it to you. No, but you guys, Carl, listen, listen. Carl, 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 wait. And you mess. I'm not going to reveal it. I don't share DMs like you, you do. But do I have your permission to share a part of our Megan, conversation at least? Megan uh, summarize. Yes. Listen, I, I need to. Because you said, Megan, Andy, Megan you and I are the same. Megan Carl, we are not the same. No, Megan doesn't call. You just want the press here. I don't Megan want this kind of press. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. And I'm not going to give you the spotlight the anymore. Samantha's you brought my name into it. Here. I wanted to clarify because I got a lot of people saying, Andy, what's this? What's going on? Keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> That's what I think. As well I as mean, Thomas's. Hey, well, oh, hey, I'm not sure if you saw the interview at all. Um, oh, or yeah, no, we you did. Were, I apologize. You were watching it. I didn't bring up your name on purpose, Andy, because I don't. Why want not? To Did Dan tell you not to? Dan, well, Dan, Dan would have lost his mind if you mentioned my name because he doesn't I like would've... me very much. You should, if you really wanted to, to go want to impress me, you bring me up on his show and ask why he won't apologize to Johnny Depp. I would love that. My God, Carl, go for it. But I, was there any communication oh, oh, about that before with I, his producers I, or anything? I was curious. I, I'm sorry. Get back to the Johnny Depp thing. Uh, what was no, it about Johnny no, Depp? No, no, no. I'm gonna go soon because you know what? I don't want to share this stage with this man. Samantha Markle is telling the truth. Has always yes. been telling the truth. Yes. This lady Samantha has been trashed enough by the likes of D disgusting listers like you no and no i've sister. never trashed no, no, samantha no, you I, have trashed your trash i love samantha right now you're calling her a liar she's calling you out samantha has never been afraid respect to be her life and ask Hold and answer questions because she's samantha integrity and she always answers her questions with yes or no she's able to answer questions not avoid them samantha has ovaries of steels which you have zero balls of steels so i'm gonna leave andy thank you for this samantha, thank you paula I love you. yes and samantha oh, you know that we know. have your back you don't have to be or share with this guy anything anymore you have nothing to prove this guy is a liar wait, wait i'm not a liar a yes liar. you are you're a liar paula i, I got it samantha. i know you gotta go thank, thank you samantha. paula Bye. I got you. Thank you, Paula. You are a liar because you just told Samantha that you're Samantha, that Thomas is best friend. Right. And Samantha's you telling her, you that's false. You, asked her, you keep telling her yes that's no. not true. She started telling you about uh, how I am. You know, she's, she didn't say you yes or no. By saying... By saying that you by saying that you are Thomas Markle Sr.'s best friend in the face what? of Samantha Markle turning around and saying that you're not, you are what? inferring then that Samantha is a, a liar. You can't get around that. Why are you trying to perform mental gymnastics? That is not going to work with us. 
Why can't yep. you be straight? Because he just wants one. the attention, Steph, and we got to quit shining oh, the spotlight right, on him. Right, At the end right, of the day, right. what I'm trying to wrap up, and Samantha, thank you for clarifying it. You are not Thomas's best friend. Okay. He wants you to leave yeah, him there, alone. There you go. His daughter Paul has Larson asked you to respect not, that. In fact, I don't Will even you know, respect I don't even know Samantha Markle and stop mentioning the, your, his, her father, the Markles? Will you move on with your life and not keep trying to associate yourself with him? <laughs> yeah, really. That's the Did real question, because you said you respect uh, Samantha here. So are yeah, you going to respect Samantha no, here and back off and leave him alone? Not only do I respect Samantha, I like Samantha, you know. So then are you going to leave I, Thomas I alone and stop in, putting his name in the in, press? It, I just feel bad in the beginning. Had she not written that book, oh my God, got invited Carl, to Carl, Why that's not what we're that? talking about. Can you answer the question? Will you leave Thomas oh alone and respect Samantha's wishes? You know, that, but that that's just like you asking me, oh, Carl, uh, don't text me anymore. Don't Twitter me anymore. And then you DM me again. Carl? So. I don't believe Thomas put this to Newsweek. You oh did. Oh my God. Oh you my gave God. this quote Stop to Newsweek. There was no Thomas. reason for you to talk what, about Thomas look, with Thomas Newsweek. Has if you wanted to, to talk about your tour, tour, brother, Thomas you could have done it without mentioning Thomas. So don't you dare Thomas, keep. Thomas you Markle brought to Thomas into this. Thomas Markle has nothing to do with this tour. Then okay. stop bringing him into okay. your shenanigans. Simple, so no? If you want to go to the Royal Celebrity no, Tour, I don't. follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for that. So are you going to leave the family alone or not? I guess you're still. You're Go circling on, around the, the answer. Are you going to leave Samantha com. alone? The Royal Are you going to leave Thomas, com. Samantha, and all of them alone? Uh, the Royal Celebrity Tour .com. So, Samantha, this is your evidence. If you guys need to file a restraining order, he's clearly not going to leave you guys alone, which is really sad no, no. and okay. troubling. No, that's is there anything okay. else you'd like to say to him before I, I boot him? Uh, yeah, Carl, I think I, I think. Hey, just Samantha, I, I really Hold on, Carl, we're going to let Samantha have the last Carl, word here. Yeah, no, Go I ahead, Samantha. You should call it the Walter Mitty royally hallucinating tour, in my opinion. How's that? Look. Okay, well. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I'm just going to call it the royal Samantha, Celebrity are you tour. done with Carl? Listen, oh, I have an idea. Done. I'm going to. Okay, great. He's done. We yeah. got rid of him for you, Samantha. We did it. He had his say. <laughs> Samantha, we respect wow. you tremendously. Thank you for calling in. I'd love to have you back on uh, nicer terms than this one. Uh, I think we're talking on Paula's show tomorrow, I hope, but thank you for dropping in and clarifying the record. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the fans and everybody watching? No, thank you, um, everybody. Just, um, I'd like to say, well, be careful who uh, you trust, uh, especially if they lurk in bushes and they won't leave your front lawn when you ask them to. Uh, no, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks so much. Thanks, Samantha. Hope to talk Thanks soon. So and there we go. Take what a, what a pleasure to have her pop on the show. Uh, Steph, what a show. Exclusive. I think that was more fun than Dan Wooten's show last night. <laughs> um, well, today's live tour did something that I didn't think was going to happen earlier on. So, yeah. But, no, it was great to be able to clear the air. Um, it was great to, and I'll be point blank about this, expose Carl for the absolute liar and stalker that he is uh, and to debunk all of that. And, you know, it just made it just that extra special to have Samantha on as well so that she could do it as well. Because I think the one thing, unfortunately, uh, with Dan Wooten's show last night is there wasn't enough time. Uh, I don't think for her to say everything that she needed to say to Carl uh, publicly at the very least. So, um, yeah. I'm, no, I'm I love that. I love us keep because everybody was looping us in. And I don't. I don't watch Dan Wooten to be honest. Again, you're gonna understand why I don't watch Dan Wooten in the video that we'll be posting on Popcorn Planet, which we're gonna get into more detail about why I think Wooten was afraid of me, the Johnny Depp part, which I didn't really want to get into with Carl. Um, so. Please support that after this. Um, but man, this did the, ignore my, I had to pre-tape it before this. Obviously, I didn't mention all the fireworks that just happened. But I do still want to watch this. <laughs> I do still want to watch it just so we can address and see the lies. Now, I think look at it with even clearer eyes, Steph, of just how insane this is. And I don't want to pile on because honestly, and I, don't, I want to be careful. But Carl, I'll say it to your face here because I'm sure you're still watching. I, I really think you need some help, man. Like, I, I hope you seek some help. It's very clear Thomas's family wants you to leave him alone. You refuse to do that. And then it's very clear. You're like, I hope to get back on the show and you just want the attention. And that's scary, man. So you got to you gotta ease back off this stuff and leave the Markles alone. Stop bringing up her father and stop text. If Even if you do get a text from Thomas, that doesn't mean that gives you permission to go to all the outlets and say, look what Thomas sent me. Oh yeah, I got another one from Thomas. Thomas is doing it because they'll, they'll take anything. And that's on you, dude. If you are really his best friend, 
then don't leak everything he texts you to the press. Am I right, Steph? Seems like a pretty clear cut thing. But the thing is, it's like he couldn't answer straight. He would always change the goalposts. To me, that indicates that is a, he's a man with something to hide, right? We asked him point blank, did you speak to Newsweek about Thomas Markle? Changes the goalposts. We then put it right in his face, the quotes he's actually given to Newsweek about Thomas Markle Sr., and he still changes the goalposts. You, we never really got a straight answer from this dude. It actually makes me wonder, and this is just a question I'm asking for a friend, is he actually working for Team Sussex? Mm -hmm. Is he actually working for Megzi here, right? A be, and trying to be a snake and, and worm his way in? Um, yes. Who Who knows? I'm just asking for a friend there. You know, just a question. I would not be surprised. I would it, not be surprised. It just, it, it, it really uh, frustrated me, um, his answers, because he, he didn't actually answer anything. He doesn't want to answer anything. He no. does, he's, he's just there to stir the pot, and it's clear he's probably working with everybody, probably, to be fair. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, pushing him on that, that headline, he's trying to, he was so trying to figure out, how do I justify this? How do I justify this? Because he did tell Newsweek this quote. He did share the text, and that just proves every chance he gets a moment. He does a gesture of, oh, you can stay with me. Let's say it's true, right? I'm, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that this text message was true. Uh, uh, he says, um, uh, what was it? Sorry, it was, I invited Thomas to come stay at my house during the hurricane, but he said he's going to write it out. So he's attempting to do something good there, right? Like making sure you're safe, Thomas, if you need help. Thomas it says no. I'm, 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 uh, I'm going to write it out. Nothing I'm afraid of. And then it's twist. He lets the the media twist that into he's recovering fine from his stroke, which is so personal and weird, and not something Thomas gave you permission for. And I, and when we put it to him, he just couldn't. He had to. Uh, 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 well, yeah, that's what I said in the other piece. It doesn't matter when you said it, Carl. This has nothing to do with the bus tour. I thought. So why do you keep talking about Thomas when you're promoting your bus tour? Because you're using him. You're exploiting him. So there it was. I'm glad we got that out there. And yes, uh, I saw somebody. Like, Dan Wooten's not afraid of me, Steph. Dan Wooten would never have me on his show. Can you vouch? Dan Wooten oh, yeah. would absolutely be terrified of me. Can you imagine me on a live show with Dan Wooten? Do you think Dan Wooten's not afraid of that stuff? Do you know what? I'd actually have a slight modicum of respect for Dan Wooten if he actually invited you on. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. It's not about me pers personally. It's about... I would. I have no qualms to call out his hypocrisy, and he is not going to want to do that on his show without controlling it. That's why he'd be afraid of me and others. Like it's not just me personally. But stay tuned after the show. We'll talk about that more specifically, and I'll I'll drop the receipts. But Steph, we got some more time to kill on this stream, which was epic. Although I might I might trim this because that was I want to keep that pretty exclusive. So we might make this our yeah. first members perk if I do the follow up, the full stream of us watching the the, the interview and more. Uh, become a member today because that was pretty good. And I hope we can get more of these exclusives. Uh, heck, next time Dan Wooten has a really good firework segment on, tell us, guys. Maybe we can get them to come here and have more time to break it out in longer, tor longer form. So uh, thanks for that amazing uh, opportunity. Samantha, for coming in. I'm honored to meet Samantha. I hope to have her back. I I'm supposed to, I think, talk to her and Paul over on her channel tomorrow. So check out I'll that. Thanks well. to... Oh, and Steph's coming great. So that uh, join us there. Uh, and thanks to Paul for helping uh, connecting us with Samantha because she really wanted to address that with Carl. And thanks, Carl, I suppose, for letting us uh, get to the truth and expose and debunk what you said. Uh, so become a member if you haven't already done it. Hit that join button. Become a king or a queen or a prince. Is the king or queen stream today? Uh, yes. Uh, I've said it to private at the moment because it should. Oh, I don't think right I can now. do it today. Actually, I'm realizing because I got to pick up Sawyer. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to do both these next week because uh, I don't think I have enough time now. Uh, let me see. Maybe stay tuned. But either way, it's we'll coming it up week. soon. It's coming up soon. Let me check as we're live. It's coming up soon. So hit that met join. You'll be able to watch the full show here, the full hour show. Uh, it's going to be worth it. All right. If I trim that, maybe I didn't, but that's at 3913 just in case because that was some pretty good fireworks. But let's keep going. Let's watch this, shall we, uh, Steph? Here we go. Again. Now, with residents like Oprah Winfrey, Ellen DeGeneres, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Montecito is like a theme park for lovers of Woktopian A-listers. <laughs> Montecito is a theme park of Woktopian A-listers. <laughs> 
But one man who wants to take tourists for the ride. I've never heard his, he's so, the, 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 it's just a lot of energy stuff is what I was. And Australian, I thought he was English, well, it's a lot. That shows Harry and Meghan's American stomping ground and boy has it caused controversy. The organizer is the paparazzi photographer Carl Larson, a former friend of Meghan's father, Thomas Markle, with the pair previously presenting a YouTube show exactly. together. Exactly, Dan Wooten even says a former friend. Correct, no, and I, I, I look, for full disclosure, I'm not a fan of what Dan's done to Johnny, and that's my allegiance. However, in this whole entire segment, I will applaud Dan Wooten. <laughs> I will give Dan Wooten major props for this segment. As a royal celebrity tour of Los Angeles and Montecito and priced at £959 for six passengers, Larson promises to take people a street along from the Sussexes' alleged my, notice it says bus tour later on he's, they're going to argue mansion. semantics and then gb news will change it to suv as well as tour favorite <laughs> shops and restaurants in the polo club where she kissed harry last year who wants to go there who cares it's sure to be a hit with the sussex squad right no 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 no. i've been trying to get the tour cancelled with a couple of staunch even though ally, they did the their own Boozy telling Newsweek, it's a concerning escalation of online harassment transitioning to the real world. Meanwhile, Larson was reported by the Sunday Mirror as saying that Meghan's dad approved of the tour. But Thomas has since told the Mail Online, I never gave my approval to Carl Larson for any tour anywhere. I am not involved in any way. Good for him. So to reveal what's really going on here, joining me now in a world exclusive interview is Carl Larson himself and Meghan's sister, Samantha Markle. He's so excited to be there. Like, he was so excited to be here too, you can just tell, and that's why I don't wanna keep giving him the spotlight because he'll just do anything to get this attention, right, Steph? And that's where it's dangerous. To represent the Markle family. So, Carl, what's going on here? Because you seem to suggest that Thomas Markle had in some way endorsed this tour. Is that right? No. No, not at all. First, I'd like to say thank you very much for having me on the show. Great to And you. very nice to meet you finally, Samantha. Uh, every time Even I've though you were part to be Thomas, Samantha Markle's dad's best mate. Samantha. Finally yeah, you think, nice you to meet you. think Thomas's best mate would have met his kids, right? Exactly. Right. He's always called. And now here, this is what also really rubs me the wrong way. He's like using this opportunity to now reveal other personal details that are nobody's business. Now, while he's hanging out with his best friend, Thomas, telling the world that she always calls while he's there every time. Like, that's none of my business. Checking up on her father. Um, that's gone on for about uh, four years. Every time I was with uh, Thomas. So getting back to the question. Uh, no. I went to Graceland a year ago for mm -hmm. our high school reunion. And I thought, what a great time this would be to do a similar thing in Montecito and Los Angeles. So I told Thomas, hey. So he thought of this months ago and only just did it weeks after we put the stun out stuff. How, isn't that weird? Mm. He sat on it for months. Okay. I have a great idea since we're not doing, you know, the, the show right now. We have, you know, basically put remarkable friendship on ice until he gets better. Yeah, no, because he thinks you're a stalker, dude. So I told him about the tour and he said, uh, I think <laughs> I think you have something there. Now, even if he's being honest here, Steph, I think it's a, that's a playful like, oh, okay, yeah, you go do that. That's not an endorsement. I said, maybe we'll go see you. And he said, oh, you know. <sighs> this is like stalkery, Steph. Can you imagine? Thomas, I got this great idea. We're going to stalk... Uh, your daughter and her new husband. <laughs> Isn't that great? All the fans will pay for it. And then maybe we'll come to your house. Yeah. Maybe you'll come out and come into the house. Ah, ah. Wouldn't that be fun? And if anything, you can just tell Thomas is like, uh, I don't, I'm not really up to that right now. And <laughs> exactly. like that's a denial. Besides people may expect to see me and I may not be up for that. And so I go, oh, okay. So he knew about the tour. Let's read what he said here. So we're just clear on this, right? Um, this was from, is this the right one? No. no. Oh, I, I just had it. Now it's, oh, it's this one. It's this one. Sightseeing tours, just so we can full, full clear on what the mirror reported. Uh, and, 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 and do it. For, uh, they'll be able to drive by, blah, 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 blah. Fans can, uh, uh in Mexico. So fa there's even, um, 
There is even some plans to expand the tour to Rosarito in Mexico so fans can meet Thomas, who fell out with Megan before Harry. Carl, who hosted a YouTube show with the Dutch's dad, said, I've talked to Thomas about the tour, and he said, oh, my God, you might have a winner there. I've asked if we could go see him, and he said, hold that thought. So hopefully one day. This is now what Carl's saying. So hopefully one day we'll get it. I've always thought I could turn what I know about Meghan and Harry into a tour. I'm sure it's interesting to many people. He told me in DM, Steph, that it was a joke. But then it, and as the DMs progressed, it was clear it wasn't a joke. But we've He's like, been we should have teamed up on this tour. that Thomas Markle Sr. says, oh, my God, you might have a winner there. That's Carl Larson turning around and saying... Here is Thomas Markle Sr. endorsing the tour, right? No. No. And Samantha Markle has just said, and you've heard it from her, he's never endorsed the tour, doesn't endorse him, ain't best mates with him or anything like that. This dude is an out-and-out -out liar. The dude's a liar. The dude's a liar. The dude's a liar. Isn't a it liar. good to see ya? What? Sorry, that's a song. Uh, anyway, that let's go Doja back. Cat so that Doja Cat song by any chance? <laughs> it's it's a, uh, it's it's Ice Spice and somebody else. I brought oh, it up great. three months ago. Close and close. Ago. Someone else that so, can't speak properly. Great. Yes. <laughs> right after South Park did the uh, the privacy you know, tour. Yeah, the international privacy right, tour. Which, which only it only jogged my memory to do it. Not that my my tour was going to make fun of anybody for any. So now he thought about this in Graceland and then that's so bef months before South Park and then South Park happens and it re-triggers his idea, Steph, conveniently. And then he still only says it like <laughs> yesterday. And um, so I, okay. I went ahead and okay. did this I, under work. I so understand when, uh, that. So, so, so let's, let's cover that off first. Uh, Sam sure. Markle, uh, is this to in any way endorsed by the Markle family? Well, I got to well, say... Well, it's not endorsed at all by the Markle okay. family. But what okay. I got asked How by let's, the Mirror let's, let's, let's was... Let's let come in. Is, is, the, is the Mirror asked me, you told Thomas about the, the tour, did he disapprove? And I go, okay. no, he didn't disapprove. Okay. I okay. told... I, I suggested going, going, going to see him, and I said, I'm not going to be up to it. Okay, so, understand, Carl. So let's not, let Samantha that come in. Let's let Samantha come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put the pedal to the metal right here. Um, I've been speaking with him every day. First of all, you haven't been in regular contact with him over four years. So don't overquote yourself and don't take license. Furthermore, there are rumors out there that you reportedly said that you were the only one qualified to speak for the Markles and that you were a go-between between Megan's camp and our family. Whatever those rumors are, let's put those to bed right now. That's not true. Um, and so if you did discuss this with my father, I can tell you in no uncertain terms that, you know, him not agreeing with you or showing any interest isn't an acquiescence, and it doesn't mean that he wasn't against it. He would never in a million years do anything like this. So, you know, from my standpoint, no. more power to you. It's a free country. You can drive whatever bus you want around Hollywood and Montecito. You can take a nudist colony on a tour bus. Do whatever you want. Just don't attach our family name to it. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's such a stretch, and furthermore, you know, to hear about this, I hope you've got your liability insurance and you've got, Facts. you know, your business license <laughs> and everything in order because that's a lot of driving people around who could twist their ankles, get sick. You know, you're... And full disclosure, honestly, because I've considered, like, we might do this tour and then maybe we bring a few fans to help offset the cost of getting a better... And that's immediately what I was like. I don't think I can. I, I don't want to risk the liability. Even if I brought one fan, uh, I'd be on the hook if the car crashes or whatever. This dude has no clue what he's doing. An ongoing no, bus tour. Give me a break. on a huge liability. So, you know, I hope I hope this is good. More power to you. But we definitely have nothing to do with it. Okay. And I think it was kind of. No, I think it was really easy to put that out there. OK, Carl, can no. I just... I will let you respond to Samantha, but I think it's also also right. important that we ask about the fact that you feel the Sussex squad are now trying to shut down this tour in some way, even though it's a capitalist right. venture. And, well, the couple of rumours we've got to stop right now. There is no bus tour 
I have a luxury Infiniti QX SUV. So I'll Oh, okay. So Steph, clear let's so clear it all SUV up. Tour. It's, it's an SUV tour. It's not a bus tour. Not a bus tour. Even Dan's laughing like, okay, that's really the most important thing you're going to respond to. It's an SUV tour, guys. I'm taking six people not at a, a time, star. private custom tour. And the the Markle name was only described who who I was in the in the description. But what happened was bullshit. There was a ready. Get ready. Someone um, who will go nameless right now. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Uh, <laughs> he ha has a YouTube channel, and he thought it was a great idea. Look at Dan. Dan's like. We told you not to talk about this, Thomas. Idea to um, poke fun of the South Park cartoon and actually go up there on a tour. Which literally you just said you were going to do too. So now out of nowhere, it's the first I've heard of it. Unbeknownst to me like three months ago. Three months ago? <laughs> He's Didn't this dude. Three months ago. This was like a couple of weeks back. Yes. Three months ago, dude. And he got the tour shut down. There was no tour. There was no tour to shut down in the first place. And what so we when did I... was we floated the idea that it was something that perhaps we were thinking about. We wouldn't know. We didn't know. And it wasn't a call to harass and stalk or anything like that. It was just something we were thinking after speaking to legal counsel the night before. That was it. Insanity. I launched this tour. I had no idea that went on. Do you believe that, chat? Bullshit. Do you believe that, chat? Let's put a poll. Shall we, uh, Steph? Do it you was... believe Carl did not know about our stunt before announcing tour? Let's see what you guys think. So, Do you know what, though? You should forever be known now as just the YouTuber. The you should YouTuber. Own that. You should just own that, Andy. And that person, <laughs> yeah, all right. got very jealous of me that has this YouTube channel. All right, so hold on. We got to go back. This is my favorite so, part. And that person got very jealous of me that has this YouTube channel. I got so And then look, as they're talking, Dan's like, okay, I got to shut this down because I don't want to talk about this YouTuber. Because <laughs> then it'll he'll, he'll react and I got to deal with it because here we are, Dan. Uh, and uh, <laughs> jealous, Steph. What the I fuck am I jealous of here? The no what is he talking idea. about? We we are absolutely <laughs> fine living our best lives, Carl. We have nothing to be jealous of, especially nothing to be jealous of where you're concerned, mate. That's for sure. My we God, haven't just been outed as liars in front of thousands of people. Let's put it that way. I, and again, I was calling out the ridiculous because I still wonder if Megan poked him to do this, Steph. I tried to ask you. He was very. He was a shade. I wish we could have gotten there a little harder. But he was very. Uh, I. I would wonder. And when I saw that this was actually happening, and it looked sold out. I was like, Oh my god, really? You guys tried to dox and like do all this terrible. The sugars did all this terrible stuff. But now, uh, actual bus tours happening and all quiet on the east. Like, come on, ridiculous. Anyway, so I'm not jealous. And poked Christopher Boozy with a. A DM. On, I poked him with a DM, guys. On Twitter and said, "Hey, how are you going to let this yeah. Carl Larson do okay. the royal so, celebrity so, so, tour?" So, Carl, just to clarify, Carl, just to clarify, is there going to be any harassment of Meghan and Harry? Because that's what Christopher Boozy is suggesting. But I don't trust what Christopher Boozy says. But that's what he is saying. Right. Only, I think that was only because we're both because in agreement with that. <laughs> Dan, we're all. I think everyone's agreeing. I don't know about Carl, but. That, Dan. Dan, we got you on that one. We do. Boozy thought I was associated with this other. Okay, I understand. You know, jerk that did, so, did you hear that, Steph? Boozy yeah, thought I was associated with this other jerk. Mr. Boozy thought I was associated with this other. Okay, I understand. You know, jerk that Pause did that for a moment. Why would Chris? Why would you know, Kyle, that Christopher Boozy thought that you were associated with this other jer this jerk, Andy? Are you in communication with him? Mmm, that's the good question. I asked. He said no, but I don't know if I believe it, Steph. Well, based on what he says there, 
Christopher Boozy thought I was in association with this jerk. Well, how does he know what Christopher Boozy thought? How does Christ how does he know that Christopher Boozy thought that Carl was in association with you, mate? Again, listen to the language that comes out of his gob, guys. It's very, very telling sometimes. I'm telling you. A little bit of linguistic analysis. There you go, guys. Have fun with that. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing linguistic analysis on all of this on uh, over the weekend. Get ready on my channel, guys. <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's like, I think I think our interview here is going to be on a lot of YouTubers <laughs> over the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully they credit us, unlike Netflix. He thought I was yeah. associated with this other. OK, I you understand. Know, jerk that did Samantha. The YouTuber jerk is what I am now, according to Carl. Okay, I understand. Samantha, um, do you think that it's... And look, I got to give GB credit. Montecio SUV tours. <laughs> it's appropriate for there to be a tour around your sister's house. Is, is, is that an appropriate thing? You know, from what I remember, is certainly a paparazzi. If there's a public street, they can be on the street. But when it becomes harassment, and if you are taking in money for it as a spectacle, yeah, then I think the city of Montecito and my sister would have something to say about that because you're profiting off of crowding their space. It's not like you're just driving by, you know, taking pictures, but a, a crowd of people sitting out in front of your house is kind of egregious. Um, and so I'm going to say, Carl, there were rumors out there, there that you reportedly said that you were the spokesperson for our family and that my father would be out there, you know, greeting tourists and shaking their hand and having lunch with them. Oh, poppycock. So none of that's true. That's if that's true. fake news, if that's fake news, Carl, you need to get with those news media sources uh, and read them the right act. So I, you know, I'm just gonna yeah. tell it like it is. It's not, not true. And you know, whatever you decide to yeah. do with your business license, is your business but well yeah and that, actually Carl just yeah. finally what is happening with the tour has it been cancelled now because so, I so, believe a website has actually taken it down yeah so the outrage of this is actually once uh Christopher Boozy got this message from this YouTuber hi that's me I'm the problem it's me saying hey I'm jealous of this Carl Larson shut his tour down like you shut my down that, 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 there's the dear Boozy, I'm jealous of this tour. Shut this tour down, looks like you shut my tour down. Christopher Boozy sent these messages to uh, Tripling. False. Christopher Boozy sent these messages before I did that tweet, just so I can really shove it in Carl's face. There's my tweet, 11:30. Christopher had already done it before I even tagged him. So nice try there. Nice try, liar. Where I had it, and I also had it on a website called Viator, and they. They just deleted my account. And then I sent a message saying, hey, how come my account's deleted? And I thought I'd perhaps not get a response back because I thought perhaps, you know, perhaps Megan did it. And they actually responded and they said, due to the social media outrage, we okay. do not want to be associated. So they confirmed. They confirmed uh, it was because of social media. Uh, interesting uh, stuff. And, and making... interesting. And Carl Larson, <laughs> can I just? I gotta say, I do love how Dan just completely dismissed him. <laughs> Clarify: uh, Are you still photographing Harry and Meghan, or have you stopped that? Oh, well, I mean, if I see them, I certainly would photograph them. Yeah, okay. but okay. most importantly, uh, um, I've relaunched the the tour. Okay, and it we. And it, it's okay. on Instagram. I don't, I don't think the, Sam Markle's going to be buying a ticket somehow, but many may, many may. Carl Larson, Samantha yeah. Markle, thank you both so much. Uh, great to speak to you. Now look, and Carl, then they come off. <laughs> uh, Steph, that's what it was. I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. Carl, I'm so jealous. No, I'm not jealous. I'm really not jealous. I feel bad for the guy in a, in a, in a part of my way. You know what I mean, Steph? It's just clear. No, I don't. He needs help. I always feel bad for people, but at the same time, like we push, we push, we push, and he just he won't stop. So yeah, I, I, I don't feel bad enough to not call it out. <laughs> that but that Samantha guy's. But Samantha Markle was extremely clear on Dan Wu yep. as well. Yep. You are not best friends with my father. Stop taking license on that. She has maintained that yesterday, and she maintained it in this stream today. 
she has been wholly consistent with all of this. Carl, on the other hand, has not. Even when you present him with the evidence that is contrary to what he's saying, again, he tries to weasel himself out of it. Mm -hmm. This dude is not to be trusted at all, as far as I'm concerned. He is a liar. And I can say that wholly, without any fear whatsoever, because he turns around on, on that show and says, Andy messaged Boozy. Andy messaged Boozy. Those I couldn't DMs message Boozy if I wanted to. Exactly, she's locked <laughs> anywhere. But there's no conspiracy, no communication between Andy and Boozy that led to his tour being shut down on these sites. That is an out and out lie. That's I've logged all. back in just he to prove it, right, Steph? Here liar. we go. Going over to see, but I, I can't message him. You can't message him anymore. It won't let me message him. <laughs> I don't. Wow. Trust me, I want nothing to do with this clown. But I did uh, call out the hypocrisy of it. And uh, of course, Boozy already beat me to it. <laughs> Like I like as if he wasn't gonna take advantage of that. Idiots. Complete idiots. Uh <laughs> do you know what really sickens me about this whole situation ultimately? Is that as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, or whatever, Carl is taking advantage of an elderly and very ill man. Yes. And it's like where is the humanity? Where's the ethics in all of that? Where's the sense of right and wrong? You know? It doesn't seem that there's any, because even in the face of his own daughter saying to him, point blank, straight to his face, stop this now. You are not his best friend. He has not endorsed this. Stop using. Stop doing this. And he doesn't say what. He carries on. Ultimately, yeah, he is taking advantage of an elderly and ill, very sick man when it comes down to it. He's got a thousand and one issues that we don't even know about, probably. That is the most disgusting thing about all of this, as far as I'm concerned, in terms of Cal's conduct. The second most disgusting thing in the face of Samantha Michael turning around and telling him to stop doing it, and he won't. He doesn't say, no, I won't stop. If anything, he continues and still tries to pedal his uh, tar. Hmm. It's... It's sick. It's sick. And I actually don't think, ultimately, that... There's, that he's got something wrong in his head. I don't think he's suffering from any mental health issues. I don't think that. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. Uh, I, I think um, that this is just all about money, 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 clout, 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 PR, PR for him. My opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever. Very, very sad when it's at the expense of an elderly gentleman who is suffering from severe health issues and whose family has already gone through enough, not only publicly, but privately as well. Again, we have only touched the, the uh, scratched the surface in terms of what we know, what they've gone through privately, I'm sure. But in the face of being asked, leave our family alone, and he doesn't say, okay, fair enough, I respect that. No, to me, I, I I disagree with Andy. I don't think he's sick. I think he knows exactly what he's doing. I just think he has no morals whatsoever, no scruples, no humanity. I'm not going to disagree, <laughs> but I think to be as far off, I mean, in talking, I don't want to diagnose the guy. I'm not a doctor, but I don't know. I think he's got some issues. That doesn't excuse people, obviously, but um, yeah, he needs help and he needs to stop. That's the that's the bottom line here. Um, I'm just setting up. Uh... Oh, uh, Thomas Markle Jr. Uh, is in the chat. Hey, up! How's it going? Oh, is um, it really? 
yeah, uh, everyone Officially? make sure you subscribe to him, guys, because I'm watching him and he is absolutely hilarious, especially when he does like the bookmark section in his videos. Like, oh my goodness, I'm like snaps all the way when he does those ones. So uh, yeah, guys, make sure you go over and subscribe to him. He deserves more subscribers than what he's got right now. So yeah, well, I, I, I love. I heard you guys are in touch. I hope he comes on and talks with you. Yeah, I'd love, he's. Oh, you're always welcome he, on our channel, sir. And uh, he says Carl yeah, Larson weird. needs a restraining order. Yeah, yeah. it's wild. I, 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 it's crazy out there. I, I, as I've been getting new to all this, so I'm also sitting my premiere. I'm gonna set the video at two because I gotta go pick up my son. But I just set the premiere for two. If you can make the redirect here, go to that Steph. That would help me. All right, yeah. I have it here. Hold on, let me. I can do it quick. Oh, but, you're doing um, anyway, it anyway. I, if you can do it, but Thomas, yeah, for both Thomas and Samantha, I, like I, as I'm getting new to all this and as I've jumped into coverage, I just didn't realize like how much they got screwed. <laughs> like they, yeah. they have just been ridiculed in the press and it's just so unfair and unjust what's been out there and the way Megan has put it out there and treated them. It's just, it's yeah. It, it, but then you, it doesn't surprise that she would jump from her family like that. Just like she's making Harry do from his, it's all just very sad. Um, the limited engagements we've had so far with Samantha, she seems like so much fun. Why would you not want to be associated with her all the time? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's crazy to me. Um, and so, yeah, and it frustrates me. And, and, and I think also it really tells to their character when they come out and defend Megan in ways like this from these stalkers, um, you know, that that's telling. So uh, bravo, Thomas and uh, uh, Samantha. Thanks for stepping up and calling this guy out. We are happy to help. And I hope we can uh, help in the future. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty Andy, messed up out there. Can you check the redirect because the video is not showing up? Yes. Uh, as we do that, I'm going to also read through some of these thank yous because you guys were so generous and so helpful. If you want to support, you are always allowed. We appreciate it. It helps us with our channel tremendously. Hold on, I'm putting this link here. We're setting up our video because we have a premiere we're going to put over that explains the Johnny Depp, Dan Wooten connection a bit more, uh, which will be starting at in about... 12 minutes as we wrap up. We'll still be here until then, but hopefully you guys can no, join us over li on that Literally, when I ask Andy, when I go on to search specific video, uh, videos from your subscribed channels, that's not coming up. Hold on, let me see here. I'm just going to paste it direct. Hopefully that'll work. Oh, hang on a minute. I think I've got that. Adding redirect. No, I've seen it. I found got it, it now. There it is. It's got saved. It. I'm in there. Sometimes you got to paste it directly. The premieres right, don't always show okay. up as quick. I think it's in there now. Um, yeah, you see it should it? be in there now. And the redirect. So at the yeah, end of this stream, we'll be sending over to the Popcorn Planet follow-up just because I had to pre-tape yes. today's Popcorn Planet video. And I, I go a little bit more into those specific clips and um, uh, talk about the connection to Johnny. And I'd love for you guys to support over there so we can get the word out. And obviously, I'll be pre-titling uh, re this as uh, Samantha Scorching Carl Larson or something, Steph. Let's make sure we adjust it. But in the meanwhile, thank you to Yellow Pill. To the, thank you. Wait, hold on. Thank you, Yellow Pill, to the YouTuber who shall remain nameless. Here you go. Wouldn't want you to be jealous. Thank you for uh, helping. I, I think Carl's going to be jealous of all these super chats in a minute, so keep them coming. Let's make Carl jealous by showing that we're not jealous. We have plenty of support here. Kate, note to oneself, well done. Thank you so much. Kate! Thank you, Kate! Jean Marie uh, renewed and became a king or queen! I'm sorry. It's maybe I could do it later, maybe. I just can't do it because i got to go pick up my son. Uh, school hours change sometimes and I got to do it and I thought I had time but I don't but we will do our kings and queens soon I promise this week if not later um, so stay tuned maybe I can do it after our stream with Paula um, we can send them over there or something I don't know I'll talk to you Steph about how to do it but I gotta I sadly can't do it that right idea. now um, yes yeah, Steph I won't be able, no sorry I won't be able to on a Saturday Okay, so we'll have to figure it out. We'll figure it out with you guys uh, uh, later. Mama Pinks, thank you for becoming a prince. Prince Mama, Princess Mama, thank you so much for joining. Mama Pinks joined. Lulu's mom became a princess. Princess Lulu's mom, welcome to the palace. Mama Pinks also sent over uh, a chat. He is a Delulu and a narc as uh, uh, meth methane. I guess that's Megan, methane. Is that another nickname? I haven't heard methane. that one. Methane, no, no, methane. methane. Yeah. Paula M, well done to Sam. We have your back, facts, and thank you, Paula, for hooking it up. Brandon Torres, I rolled my eyes with his answers until they looked like marbles. <laughs> Kristen, so good to see you. Kirsten, that was amazing. Bravo for this opportunity of a stream that was truly exclusive. True, it was. 
exclusive. And uh, thank you. I saw you gift some uh, memberships. That was very kind of you. So thank you for that. Petra said, thank you for the super chat. And then Monica became a princess. <laughs> princess Monica, welcome. And Christina also became a princess. Welcome, Christina. Uh, and Elaine. <laughs> Elaine, Princess Elaine. Oh, we had a few. Are these all renewals? Uh, has it been a month? No. Jittery Bat. Prince or Princess Jittery Bat and Princess Poots Mama. <laughs> Thank you for all becoming princesses and princes. Elaine, Christina, Monica. I don't know if you're renewing or what. Either way, thank you. Megan's Mole started the stream also. Carl is a liar. Tell Carl, Megan's Mole says you're a liar. Uh, yeah, Megan's Mole, you got it. And uh, Megan reached out. Yes, you can use the clips, Megan's Mole. Thank you for asking. Just tell folks to subscribe to Popcorn Palace as we grow here. Um, Carl lies so much he can't keep track. Facts, Megan's mole. Uh, Mama Pink's Carl, you said he was jealous. Lies. Yeah, I'm not jealous of you, dude. I'm not. Hey, my royal family, hope you're all well. So just boo to the Sussex squad from Kirsten. Thank you so much, Kirsten. Thanks to everybody who supported. All right, we got about eight more minutes till the live uh, to our premiere starts. Steph, uh, what a show. What do you think? These these lives are getting better and better over here on Palace. What do you think? You impressed? Very much so, and stay tuned for even more, guys, because it's only just going to get better from here, really, as we bring you the news, the gas, and everything you guys need to know in terms of what the deuce is actually going on. And we're not scared to call people out when they need to be called out. And we'll go in. We'll go direct. And we'll ask the tough questions. We'll ask the hard questions when the likes of Dan Wooten won't. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned indeed, and stay tuned to Steph the Alternate. Guys, we need to get her 100K, okay? The goal is to get Steph to 100K uh, before Popcorn Palace, because she just needs to be. So go sub. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and uh, we had a lot of you watching. If you haven't already, go sub to Steph, because um, she has great coverage. And we want your support over there. Boom, boom, boom. So go support. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. She's got lots more quality stuff coming. And thanks to all the new members. Yes, we will have a Kings and Queens. We were trying to set them after the show, but this week has actually been hot, tougher for me. But I promise you we'll do it. Just so you understand how the how the, how the um, perks work. It's Prince and Princesses. You'll get sort of perks of being live, emojis, etc. The Kings and Queens will be part of a King and, only, King and Queen only stream where we're going to get into more specifics, let you guys potentially even call in, get engaged, and more. So those will be a lot of fun. You'll get to have more one-on-one -on -one time with us and uh, get some more stuff we're working on, et cetera, really insight. So if you want to support and like what we're doing here, you can become a king or queen today. And yes, I will. it won't be this week, and then we'll try and do it next week, maybe Monday, uh, or maybe, I guess, at the end of next Friday. I'll, I'll check in with Steph. It makes sense to do it after these shows, but my schedule kind of sucks, Steph, on Fridays, I'm realizing. So that might be harder than I realized because I have to wrap up earlier due to um, kid pickups and things. So we'll work that out and figure it out with you guys and announce it, so stay tuned. But that's coming, and I uh, appreciate all your support at any level and all your support. And look at that. We asked you guys, do you believe Carl knew about our stunt before announcing his tour? 89% of you said no. 89% of you agreeing. That's a pretty high mark. 11% of you, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm going to disagree with you. But we'll have to agree to disagree. Uh, but there we go. Uh, what a show. What do you think, Steph? What are the odds Dan Wooten finally lets 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 us come on? What, what do we got to do, Steph, do you think, to have him face us? And do you think there's ever a version where he would apologize to Johnny? What do you think, Steph? There's no version where he'll apologize to Johnny, and I think we would have to kiss his backside and suck his dick, basically, for him to even consider us going on to his show. And let me put it this way, his kind of sausage, I don't think so, so... Nah. Yeah. He doesn't oh, have well. goat sausage, that's for sure. Yeah. His show's not... I thought his show was more popular. His views aren't that good. He could kind of use us, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Having us on would actually probably help him more than he realizes. Uh, as with supporting Johnny, it, it, hopefully he, he wises up at some point. Dude seems to like attention and uh, cred, just like Carl. So, Louise, thank you for becoming Princess Louise! And then we had a new king. Oh, is this our queen? Who is this? Queen Anne-Marie Thompson! Welcome to the palace! Honored to have you here. Uh, you guys are amazing with your support, and what a show this was. My goodness. 
Uh, all right, I'm, I'm, we, we're pretty much done, but we're hanging in for the next five as we get ready for this premiere that's coming up over on Popcorn Planet. You're not going to miss this uh, fun follow-up. I hope you will go support all of our coverage, all our channels, and go check it out. It helps if you guys all watch when it drops uh, because uh, that's a lot. It, it, the algorithm just doesn't work any other way. Uh, so here it is. Uh, yep, there it is. There's a YouTuber. That's me. <laughs> There's a YouTuber. Is Dan Wooten terrified of me? And Liar Exposed, uh, our follow-up on uh, exposing it. Now, granted, it didn't have Samantha here in our breakdown, but please share both. Uh, get this one out there because this was amazing to have. And I hope we get Samantha back because I'd love to talk to her about more stuff and spotlight all her, what she's done. Um, but let's see. Checking out your comments and questions. Anybody else who supported? Uh, da, 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 da. Subscribe to Steph. Carl exposed himself. Facts, Aubrey. That's facts. I like how animated Samantha's face expressions got before he even said, before it's something big to say. Yep. I love her energy. You could tell she was just ready to pounce on that guy. Um, there's a spicy cactus up Dan Wooten's backside for him, says Slayer Selections. Okay. It's weird. I'll, I'll, I'll to, but as we prep up the Dan Wooten stuff, I'm curious where you guys stand. Do you like Dan Wooten? Uh, do you like no. Dan? I'm curious because... It's a it's two T's, right? I keep spelling it wrong. It's a weird way to spell yeah. it. Um, and it's O N at the end instead of E N. Oh, it's O N. Thank you. Yeah, I would I would get it wrong all the time, because I got a lot of flack for calling Dan Wooten out during his allegations, and we're gonna talk about this in the video. Um, but uh, I his Meghan Markle stuff is pretty spot on. Like he's pretty correct, Steph. Would you not agree on exposing Meghan and Harry? So that's the frustration I have of, I seem to agree with him on that, but on other things, not as much. And the Johnny Depp thing is, is so big, it's hard to just gloss over and forget it. Like the fact that he called Johnny Depp this, and that's the whole UK trial was based on, which I think Johnny unfairly lost. Why do you believe Amber, but not Megan? Like, can you make sense of that stuff? It makes no sense. How? How, how does he believe Amber? Thoughts? A broken clock can be twi uh, can be right twice a day. Secondly, with Dan Wooten, right? Um, my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, he goes along with what mainstream media wants to peddle. So mainstream media wanted to peddle the notion that Johnny Depp was evil and he was the monster, so that's what Dan Wooten did. Mainstream media in the UK... Um, uh, all about, you know, Meghan Markle, but in a negative light, which, you know, for good reason, as we all know, because it's all about what she's saying and what she's doing, yeah? Um, and so Dan Wooten is following that as well. You also have to understand one of the reasons why, again, I believe, conjecture, my opinion, whatever, um, he's doing this with Meghan Markle is that he's on GB News. You understand GB News is, like, very conservative, very royalist, uh, very proud to be british news program which i'm all for don't get me wrong i'm proud to be british i love the royal family absolutely right uh but you've got to understand dan wooten did his program positively for megan he would get absolutely pilloried his ratings would suck no one would want to watch him and it wouldn't be going along the party lines of GB News, being the royalist, proud to be British pro uh, news program that it is. Because when Megzi and Prince Hazza, as I've always said, go against the royal family, um, insult them this, that, and the other, they're not insulting the royal family, they're also insulting Britain, our culture. That's what GB News, I think, understands as well. One minute until the... Uh, I was wrong. I had it set for the wrong day. It's five minutes. I had to reset it so I could start it right now. It's coming in five okay. minutes. I didn't have it. I had it set for tomorrow and not today. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's, it's here it is. I'm getting you the link, guys. And there we go. We're going to send you guys next. So we got another couple minutes here. Last chance to show your support. Sorry. And tweeting this out. Uh, Plus, Carl Larson exposed. Defaming. 
Sorry. All right. Okay, there it is. That's out there. Boom. Uh, yeah, there you go. Vito. Good job. In fact, go support Vito, Vito, Vito comedy. He's in a, <laughs> it's in his own war. And my buddy, I know he's not doing what they're accusing him of doing. And I, I'm glad to see him finally fighting back. You go do it, Vito. Uh, so, all right. It's set up for, for five minutes and three minutes now. Here it is. We have it ready. Uh, let's watch this next. Sorry for the, for not, uh, let's watch the premiere next. If you guys can head over there. That'd be amazing because it'll help support the next video and let's get the word out. Um, as we're wrapping up, let's see last little comments and thoughts coming in. Mama Pinks asked, I thought Wooten was in legal trouble. Yep, we're gonna talk about that in the video. We are, uh, it's true, he is. He is in legal trouble, but innocent till proven guilty, right, Dan? Unless you're Johnny Depp, right? Ah, Steph, that's how it works in the world of Wooten. You're innocent until proven guilty, unless you're Johnny Depp. Yes, Steph? Uh, Selma Lilly says, no, Steph, Dan got pushed from GMB four years ago for his anti-Megan stance. Yeah, Good Morning Britain, which is a morning channel on a completely separate um, channel, which is uh, ITV. I'm talking about Great Britain News, GB News, which is a completely separate channel, completely separate entity from Good Morning Britain that's on ITV. So yeah, Selma, get your facts right. Thank you very much. There you go. Don't try to correct Steph. She'll get you. <laughs> Make sure you're right. <laughs> I know my shit. <laughs> yeah, I've learned. And then Steph won't forget it. But meanwhile, welcome <laughs> Princess Nicole. Welcome to the Popcorn Palace. It is honored to have you here, and I hope to s you enjoy the, the the decor. I don't know. I don't know English words and stuff. <laughs> I'm not very good at that. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. We have other guests planning to come in on these Fridays. Uh, more sh stuff. We'll be live. We'll be just hanging with you guys. We're a little longer than usual. Just I try to keep the show about an hour, but I uh, this was too good, and I'm waiting for this premiere to start because it'll just help if we send you guys over there to watch this next. So stay tuned. It's uh, two minutes or what, 60 seconds. We'll be over there. As soon as the countdown starts, we'll wrap this up and we'll be good to go. Um, Steph, uh, yeah, what a show. What a show. Final thoughts from you? Um, I might actually be going live later on today. <laughs> I think I'm going to be going live. Uh, going to do a, a little bit of food shopping after this, but I think, yeah, um, instead of Plenty like, to talk about two videos... Uh, I think I'm going to be going live, so stay tuned on Steph the Alter Nerd. I'm going live, guys. There we go. We'll do a little love bit it. of linguistic analysis on Cal. Dude, do it. I love it. And it's time to start wrapping up our show. What amazing spirit. Thank you to Samantha Markle. Oh, my God, what an honor. I can't believe she came in here. She did. Thanks and I hope to have her back. Thank you, Carl, I guess. But we are not going to have you back. We don't want to play that way. So, uh, sorry, but no, sorry. You can go to other channels. Please just keep my name out of your mouth. Uh, but thanks to all of you for tuning in, for your amazing support. Uh, we'll be back live here next Friday, uh, and we'll have our Kings and Queens next week, so make sure you support and get ready. Lots more coming up here on Popcorn Palace, as well as over on Popcorn Planet. In fact, any second now, any second now, this premiere is going to start. You're not going to miss you'll it. Never be wrong. So thank you all for watching. Thank you, Harry Whitney. Love this track. Love all of you. I love hanging out, and I love getting to the truth. And we won't let someone like Carl I'll go out there and defame and say I'm DMing this, because that's nonsense. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. I missed the timing. I'm like a radio DJ hoping I hit the beat. What's taking so long here, YouTube? There it is. All right, we'll see you over there. I'm going to be in the chat for a minute, so go on over to the video. It's starting. We'll see you guys there. Bye, everybody. Deuces!